Okay, here's the installation process for Oracle VM. Um, I, I'm using um, what Cisco UCS Manager allows. Uh, basically, I selected uh, virtual media um, in Cisco UCS Manager and uh, booted server from that ISO image. And now uh, it's asking me if I want to do a CD media test. I can skip this because it was downloaded from a service, not actually a CD. Um, and now it kicking off Anaconda, it's Linux, one of the Linux installers. Um, OVM basically installs uh, or, um, Oracle Linux and uh, Oracle VM, uh, so you don't need to install OS first, but uh, this is possible. Uh, OVM can be installed on top of another version of Linux, but it's better to um, have single installation, so um, OS and OVM. Uh, okay. Us, it's asking us. It's asking for um, a license agreement. It's saying that um, uh, um, this installation will be done into local storage uh, on UCS Blade. It has um, a couple of flash drives that are running in RAID. So um, and I should of course say yes here. And it's saying that remove all partitions and there is only one option, local SDA um, disk. Okay. Um, it will remove all data. Yes. Uh, we'll remove what uh, James has installed VMware there. Uh, review and modify partitions layout. Um, I will set default, basically, um, uh, it has swaps, small swap partition, it has root disk and um, uh, it's a few gigabytes uh, default layout. Um, I will I will leave default, so I'm saying yes. I don't want to review. Um, okay, so uh, boot. Uh, it's important to say allow boot from a multiple uh, multi path device uh, because uh, again we have a RAID controller and it's kind of also <laughs> multi path device. Uh, otherwise, it wouldn't boot uh, from that RAID. So okay. Uh, the first one, the first interface is um, uh, VLAN 11 Ethernet uh, that we can use. And it's important to add to VLAN, VLAN 11, otherwise uh, we will not see, uh, we will not see network. So, and I'm saying manual configuration, I have um, IP address already assigned for it's a second blade. Uh, for the second blade, it's a one uh, zero two twenty uh, five and um, fifty nine. The network, uh, the net mask is two fifty five two fifty five two fifty four dot zero, and it's two C classes network. Okay. Uh, gateway is um, uh, okay. Somebody's chatting with me. It's Ronan. Uh, okay, let me continue for a second. Uh, Ten dot two twenty dot five dot two fifty four. The primary DNS is 10.220.2.196. Uh, secondary DNS is 10.220.3.187. I'm saying OK. Um, what is this? It's asking host name configuration. Oh, it's the name of the host. So it's DPP physical and it's OVM2. It's not in DNS yet but I will ask to put it there. Okay. Um, time zone. So UTC, I assume it's UTC, Denver. We can change it later, it's not a big deal. Okay. Password. Um, I have a password, I'll share it later. It's for um, OVS agent, it's basically what will be used by OVM manager to connect to this host. Uh, it's okay, now it's asking for a root password. I'll 
I'll share that later as well. Um, it's for basically, uh, obviously, for the physical host root password. Okay. Oh, okay, it happens. OVM rack root. OVM rack root. Oops, did I say that? No, 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 no. Something's wrong. Okay, third attempt is the lucky one. Okay, it's saying where we can review install log afterwards. Okay, it's formatting file system, transfer and install image to hard drive. Uh, I'm chatting on separate screen. Uh, it is installing. Uh, it will be very, very quick because again, we're installing to local flash storage, N not Fusion IO, but the, uh, another flash RAID that uh, Cisco UCS uh, Blade, Blades have. And it's saying it will be done in a minute. <coughs> It's a very small installation, basically it's a uh, Linux uh, kernel with exam and some set of libraries, um, set of tools, um, so roughly it's, I think it's one gigabyte installation. <coughs> And it's a second blade, uh, I already completed installation on the first blade. The Linux kernel is being 